All right, y'all, it's your boy Smitty here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and smash that thumbs up if this is content that you like. Um, okay, it's valve body time. Uh, so we're gonna go through the valve body and we're gonna go through the accumulator mods and get those all straightened out and uh, get the valve body modified cleaned up and ready to go back in and there's a lot of sonics goodies to put in this dude so pay attention we'll go through the the steps together and i'll show you how it's done so here we go okay first things first we're going to set up this one two accumulator so you need to grab one of your your piston kits Got a couple check balls in there. Basically, you need to look down in the hole and see which one you're going to be able to fit this check ball in. There's two different sizes. So, we're going to try the small one first. And I missed. I think we're going to have to cheat. Ah, you sucker. Grab us some needle nose pliers here. Yep, that's going to fit. So let's get uh, a punch. Give that dude a few taps down in there. Fits kind of loose. I know we can't put that big one in there because it's going to end up splitting it, but we'll see how. Yeah, there ain't no way that's going to go down in there. Alright, let's booger this up a little bit so it won't come out. That ought to work. Just enough to swedge it a little bit. To keep the ball from coming out. Alright, on this one. There's two separate seals. There's a, a rubber one. And then there's a Teflon one. 
the rubber one goes at the bottom and the Teflon one goes on top kinda like that All right. We'll give her bore a little bit of lube there. This one, if I remember right, had a broken spring in it to begin with. But this is just a regular truck, so we don't want it to be too terribly stout. We're going to put this yellow one in, in fourth. So we'll put that piston down in there, or spring down in there. Then put your dome up. Like that. Okay, I changed I changed the spring setup on this because I remember this one having uh, having two springs in it. Plus you can see the the wear groove in the in the bottom of the the housing that it had another spring in there. So I just remembered I had these and that's what that's what actually came out of it. So Put those dudes down in there and uh, put our piston back in. So that one's ready to go. So we'll set it off to the side. We'll go ahead and get our. We've already got our uh, fourth piston set up right here. And we're going to use that same purple spring in fourth. So on fourth, the fourth accumulator, there's no reason to put a check ball down in there and plug that hole. Nor do you want to plug that hole down there. I know guys that have done that, but once you plug that hole, it's next impossible to get it out of there. So we're not going to plug that. Because I believe, since this is just a regular truck, um, you know, it'll be... Everybody does it different, y'all. Anyway, get that in there. Put your piston in there. And then we can put our purple spring on top of it. Like that. And that'll still have a, a quick, firm shift. So, there's that. Alright, now it's time for our valve body. The bag's got a hoe in it. Alright, so let's start with the forward accumulator. Because we're going to put a pinless accumulator in this also. Providing the pistons the same size, obviously, which I don't know that it is. Nope. Okay, so we've got to put the pin back in it. So put a pin in there. Our spring and our valve is still there. We do need to replace this seal. I think that one's actually too big. Okay, it should be the right size. All right, a little bit of love down in there. Around your pin too. Slide your piston back in. You 
your return spring. And your cover. And these little dudes are an eight millimeter. Okay. Hundred and six inch pounds. All right. Now we checked the uh, the AFL bore when we had it out, and it was in good shot, good shape. So we don't have to. Uh, to uh, ream it out. So this valve is going to go right here. There we go. Next we're going to put our uh, TCC valve. Yeah. All right, one important mod that we're going to do is the 2 3 shift valve. The one on the left is the factory one, the one on the right is a Sonics heavy duty 2 3 shift valve. And what the, what the shift valve does is, is it protects the forward sprag. Um, so if it downshifts, it automatically in, engages that. Uh, spray to keep it from twisting it applies basically it leaves the overrun clutch on uh, through first second third gear no matter whether or not you're in drive or overdrive it keeps it in first second or third so this is important upgrade and it goes right here in this hole Then you get your your other valve, this one here. And then your shift zone oil will go in the end of that. And then your other one is your one two. And it goes right beside it with a spring on the end of it. And then your shift valve will go there. Now I don't think that uh, I can use the Sonex AFL valve because this this one wasn't worn out anyway. And I think this has to be reamed out. Yeah, it does. But my AFL valve wasn't tore up, so. We will put that off to the side and we will put our AFL, AFL valve back in there. Okay. We've got our spring. And we get our cup plug. And 
And this one you will have to push in a little bit. That spring went a flying. There we go. Get our PC solenoid here because I'm thinking that that's gonna go in one more notch. Yep. Surely does. There we go. All right, that's back together. Now our solenoid should go in all the way, and it does. All right. So the valve body, other than putting this manual rod in, which is pretty slick, but it just goes right in there. Give it a little bit of lubrication here. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right. All right, y'all. So that's it for the valve body. I went ahead and put solenoids in. Got your shift solenoids, your uh, TCC PWM solenoid. And the PC solenoid. Don't forget to replace your O-rings on your solenoids when you put those in. Um, they're a wear item just like everything else. So other than putting the check balls in this thing and putting it on the on the case, uh, there's nothing more to do on this. So, all right, so that's going to be it for this video. So, if you like the content, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, give me a subscribe down there at the bottom, comment, and uh, share it with your friends. Um, help me get these videos out to people that can use them. Um, I get tickled when I get uh, comments saying how much it's actually helped somebody, and that's all I've ever wanted to do was just help you out. Um, so, yeah, until next time, uh, make sure to take care of yourself, take care of each other. God bless you, and God bless America. Bye-bye.